Welcome to Paradise Shop, NCAA on a Paradise Land. From near and far, them a travel all and pick up. Experience a beautiful white sand so Paradise Shop in the Virgin Island. Paradise Shop in the Virgin Island. Paradise Shop in the Virgin Island. Miss a big thing to go on in a mile. Paradise Jam, our second game of the day, is our second game of the island tournament, two and two. We are set to jump it up. Asia Petty will go against Sanaya Rivers. And Petty controls it. Kentucky basketball to get things started. You see the starting lineup here for Kentucky. Brooklyn Miles, Asia Petty, Amia Jenkins, Maddie Shear back in the starting lineup, and Zaniya Thomas gets the start today. And an opening basket for Petty for Kentucky. And for the starting five for 10th ranked NC State, you have Baldwin, Collins, Isaiah James, Madison Hayes, and Saniya Rivers. And a foul as Hayes attacks Kyra Elsey in her fourth year, her 12th year overall at Kentucky. And up to the free throw line goes Madison Hayes, a six foot senior out of Chattanooga, Tennessee, in her third year with the Wolfpack. But do not put this team at the free throw line. Their 20. recruiting classes have been outstanding back to back, top 10. 2023 in the incoming 2024 class. Nice crossover by James, then attacks, then has it ripped away by Petty. 15 on the shot clock. Rivers will reset. Pull up jumper. Rivers shows her touch. That's a big time move off the dribble drive. Here's Thomas inside, blocked by Baldwin. The kick out, three from Shear, too strong, and another rebound for the 6-5 graduate center, River Baldwin. Shear's missed the last two games. You see how long it takes her to get back in the flow. She'll be a big addition to the offense for Kentucky. Hayes off the glass. NC State, hot start here in the first 2-15. And Jenkins had it knocked off her leg. It will be NC State basketball. And there you see Coach Moore. 800 career wins at the very end of last season. His 35th season as a head coach. That man can coach him up. Three straight ACC tournament titles. 2020, 2021, and 2022 Tough shot for James. And Baldwin saves it right to Miles. Miles throw ahead. Too far for Petty. There's a transition game that Coach Elsie wanted to see. And there's Shear showing that senior leadership. She really makes this Kentucky team go. Former Miss Kentucky basketball player, two time Kentucky Gatorade player of the year. And a three from Collins is good. Good defense from Russell, and now Shear in the lane, and wave it off. Offensive foul. Shear looks a little rusty, Brad. It's not quite in the flow. Coach going to take her out, give her a breather. It's like she's you know favoring that right lower leg injury she has just a little bit. So it's going to take her while to get back in the flow of the game. Suffered an ankle injury November 11th. Last year. Was third on the team with her 11 and a half points per game. She was doing drills yesterday, but nothing live action. Here's Collins. A little floater in the lane. Good for two. And a timeout taken by Coach Elsie as the Wolfpack open up a nine point lead. We'll step aside. 6.04 on the clock. First quarter. It's all NC State at the Paradise Jam. Six to play in the first quarter after a timeout taken by Kentucky. There's a turnover. James with the takeaway. 
Now Rivers goes baseline. The kick out. Collins sets a deep two foot on the line. Mimi Collins. Russell, tough shot, missed everything. Here come the Wolfpack. Rivers running, lays it in. Bad shots are going to lead to runouts for the Wolfpack. They will make you pay for poor decisions. Sanaya Tyler in the game, started the first four games for Kentucky. She's cutting baseline. They need to get Asia Petty back involved at the offensive end. Russell sets her feet, knocks a three. Good job by Russell. Her defender sat on the lap of Asia Petty, gave her a wide open three. It's Russell's first made three. In the middle of the paint, off of her person, plugging up everything inside. Here's Petty. Petty. Grown up here in the offseason. They had a long talk in the summer what she needed to do to get herself in better shape. Video game numbers. I mean, 16 points a game, 12 rebounds for Asia Petty. Two years at LSU was with Kentucky last season. Just under six points per game. Third on the team with her five rebound per game average. Shot 55% from the floor. On this season, she's starting this year off even better as Petty checks out. Janae Walker, the freshman out of Tyrone, Georgia, into the game, and the free throw is That's good. more about their free throw shooting being so good. <laughs> Real simple. You recruit good, good free shooters. throw shooters. <laughs> no magic to it. Here's the drive slashing into the lane. Zoe Brooks, the freshman out of Plainfield, New Jersey. Well, Kyra Elsey talked about transition both ways. Looked much more in rhythm on that shot, the former Gatorade High School Player of the Year. There's an open look. Brooks, no. Baldwin, yeah. Sheer yep. finding her touch. Getting in the groove, getting back in the groove. That last shot was a confidence builder. Followed up with the next one. Rivers left wide open, nothing. Shear kicks it back, three point try for King. Brooks to Collins. Rebound underneath, Baldwin the putback. Her second basket of the game. And Miles, a junior from Frankfort, Kentucky. Played at Tennessee in two seasons. She played six NCAA tournament games for the Volunteers. Here's Rivers, the floater. Taking it is Walker, working against Baldwin. Baldwin gets the block. Good job, Baldwin. Arms straight to the ceiling. Didn't need to leave the floor for that block. Rivers nope. already with double figures. 11 points for her. Balls in her hands. Final seconds. The dump off. The bald win. No. And Shear. The three-quarter court shot. No good. NC State 31. Kentucky 16. It's the Wolfpack shooting 65%. Shania Rivers, a career-high 33 points when she put up a double-double against UConn. 33-10, also had five assists. She was 11 for 19 in that game, but red-hot start here tonight. Just off the beaches on St. Thomas Island. We're here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Opening day of the Paradise Jam. Shot clock down to five. Back to Rivers. Launches the deep three. Missed it. And there's the first miss of the game coming with the shot clock under three. Start a little rough, a little rusty. Then you get knocked in a couple shots. You're a big-time player for the Wildcats. She with five points. That one halfway down and pops out. Here comes the freshman Brooks in transition. Nice dish. Hayes. Kentucky is determined to run with the Wolfpack. There's a takeaway. There's the dump off inside. Collier, no. Second try, draws a foul. 
probably remembering you asking about <laughs> free throws. It's one of those things. Why would you ask me about free throws? Drawing some iron here in the second quarter. Hit Petty some touches inside. Let it go to work. There's Miles to drive. Or get Petty some touches. Brooklyn Miles first. This Wildcats team coach actually has three. Miss Kentucky. So they're playing at different sites. They had a game at Georgetown University. Yeah, Memorial Coliseum, an $82 million renovation. Nice. Women's so, basketball, gymnastics, and volleyball. Taking over Rupp Arena for the SEC schedule. Well, there's the play that she'd like, but her defender reached over the top. They're number four. Yeah, it's a Kentucky team. They're a, they're a team without a home this season, which makes it tough. There's Petty working hard inside. To hold our season ticket holders. So every game was a road game. For and, Kentucky. And I understand they're going to play all the SEC games at Rupp. Yep. There shouldn't be anything left off the wish list at $82 million. Yes. Shot clock down to 10 for the Wolfpack. Kentucky playing tough D. Wow. There's a block from behind. Whistled for her second. The second quarter... Well, they've missed three free throws. Give her the ball and let her go to work. Asia Petty. Oh, nice dump go. off. Russell wide open. You have to play through Petty, even if she's going to get doubled. Can make plays for you, and you can't let that happen. Here's Shear working against the freshman. Rebound goes to James. James off and running all the way to the rim. Playing through it here. Inside, outside with Petty. Sheer in and out. No. There's nothing like playing at game speed. You can't simulate it in practice. Take Maddie Shear a little while to get back in the rhythm. Baldwin against Petty. Taps the rebound to Jenkins. Put back, left short. Just hung on the front of the rim. And now James just continues to just race to the offensive end. Out for the three-point shot, Lacey Steele. Three-point line, 50 overall. Tremendous speed. Catch and shoot. How about that bounce? Katrina McLean award for best power forward in the country. Russell's shot is off the mark. Here comes James. She's a power forward with guard skills. Collins the kick out. James shot fake. Now lets it rip. Nothing. The lefty shoots at 50% from distance. Great relocation after the post feed. Wolfpack is impressive at the offensive end. Sheer led the SEC in free throw shooting percentage last year. Still goes inside to Baldwin. There's the double. There's the scramble. From the baseline, Collins. No good. Gets a talking to from head coach Kyra L. I like Petty's game. Needs to be more assertive and demanding of the basketball at the offensive end. The offensive. Brooks. They're fronting Baldwin in the post. Brooks along the baseline. Nearly lost it. Gets it back. Oh, my. Wide open is Baldwin. What a fuck. She picked up a early Christmas present on that basket. Looks like Kentucky was ready to get in transition. Left Baldwin all alone. Offensive rebound by Thomas. But the shot. Rejected by Baldwin. Well, Baldwin walled up, put her hands to the ceiling, able to block it and keep control. Deep three. Knocks it in. Lacey Steele. The way we get the lineup of South Florida, I'm going to let you do all those pronunciations. <laughs> it's like different, seven. Ten different nations. Ten different countries, 13 different players. Final 30 seconds here, the second quarter. Go, 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 go. 
NC State 31 points in the first quarter. They're at 22 thus far here in the second quarter. Skip to the corner. Here comes Steele. The dump off. Williamson adds two for the Wolfpack. And the half-court shot on the way from Rowe. Won three straight ACC tournaments in 2020, 2021, and 2022. Trying to build towards another run in the ACC. And they've got the foundation to do it, Brad, because their recruiting classes have been exceptional. This 2023 class, they're now freshmen, were ranked fourth in the nation. They've signed a class early. That will graduate in 2024. That is ranked number 10. Uh, what, in every single... Uh, <laughs> Every yeah. single game, there's a five-second call. And I call the mid-range post and do the inside pivot and face up and try to go by Baldwin off the bounce. Collins kicks out. Hayes will launch the three and roll it in. Jenkins goes inside. There you go. Back to Jenkins. As we did in that possession. Averages 12 points per game. Five rebounds a contest. Maddie Shear with 16 minutes for Kentucky in the first half. We didn't know if she was going to play today or not. Oh, good look down. Here's really good the bounce seal by Baldwin. It's the bank. Um, offense rebound that actually hits the floor. Everyone else was screening out, and she ran in there and picked up for an easy two. Hayes wants another three. Left wing again is good. Showed zone one possession, Brad. That was a very good change up out of the timeout. Here's Petty. Let's move and finish. She caught it and looked for the double. Didn't come. Went into a move. Cox gets it over to Hayes. Hayes skips it to Brooks. Down to the corner. Negronat of Wolfpack, NC State. And they agreed with me during that break that we had that you got to stop the transition game number one it's hard to do with the speed shot clock down to seven petty over to russell russell baseline turnaround jumper gets the roll russell the senior out of baltimore maryland Former soft rims in the ubi sports and fitness center Collier inside. And Collier with her first field goal. She has four points. Well, again, it's secondary transition. The ball's going in the post. There's a 40-point lead here. Miles at the free throw line was at University of Tennessee the last two years. Kentucky showing some full court pressure. Trying to change things up. They have beat the post of Kentucky up court all day long. So we'll see tomorrow if the Bearcats defense. The Kentucky against third rank Colorado at 2 p.m. local time. That's 1 p.m. Eastern. Final minute of this third quarter. Here's Hayes. Over to the right wing. Three-pointer on the way. Lacey. About a three or four second difference. Game clock, shot clock, shot clock down to five. Rivers takes it away. Smile on her face, lays it in with the left hand. And the third quarter comes to 9 of 11, 82%. I find, I'm going to find one flaw in their game. They did miss a free throw, just three for four. Another one, another one. Three-pointer launched by Miles. Good tip out. Russell being able to keep another possession. There's the screen from Walker. Over to the right corner. Jenkins was three for five.
from three-point land in the first quarter. They were 0 for 5 combined in the second and third quarter. Gets one to go here in the fourth. If they can execute against this zone again, did a nice job last time. Got the rebound and then patience and an open three from the corner. Russell penetrates. Nice. Playing the second and third side against the zone. And you do that with the shot fake. You can penetrate the gap. That's exactly what the Wildcats did. That is very good offense. You're going to show the good, the bad, the ugly on it's your... Some good for Williamson inside for the Wolfpack. A transfer from Southern Utah. Williamson with her second bucket of the game. And regardless, Coach, if you're... Think about... It. I'm trying to do the math in my head. 120 minutes of basketball. Three games of 40 minutes. They need to hang a Nerf hoop up, I think, because they're doing it without <laughs> hoops. So that you have nice all the things you on Sunday. You are better than when you came here on Wednesday. Well, one, two, three, four. Three, and I, I would maybe eight hot tubs. There's one down by the the buoy house down oh, along yes. the shore. I would count that. There's the drive by Brooks. Jenna Aisa. She's a chemical engineering major and won a U16. That knows everything better than everybody else. You know they're the ones with the toughest major. Well, you remember my master's degree is in physical education. <laughs> <laughs> a big 80-45. Shooting it well, playing tough D. Making things hard on Kentucky as Tyler missed the three. Now Emma Kim. There's that top down. We've seen it before. And Collier. Cincy, that Cincinnati we had earlier today, had left that league to go to the Big 12. King tries a three. Offensive rebound. Put back. Good. Nose for the basketball. There's the feed. Oh, reverse layup. There's Tyler. A kick out here in the final minute. Rowe kicks back. That's blocked by Cox. Well, Coach, you mentioned serving it up on a platter. How about 19 assists? They were on that roll. They were <laughs> moving it up and down the court for Kyra Elsey. And we talked about what's happening at Kentucky with that renovation of the Memorial Coliseum. They're going to have a gorgeous place to play. But they will be nomads a little bit here in their non-conference this season, playing at different sites. Until they get an SEC play, then they'll make their home at Rupp Arena. King the kick out. Tyler for three. That's good. 84-55, and the Wolfpack can dribble out the final seconds of this one. A strong, dominant performance for NC State. 